we're going to be doing student checkup excel 3-1 and so for this one it's different than the book so there are a few errors in the book and we're working on uh, upgrading them so i'll get it uh, i'll update this video as soon as we fix them as well but just to let you know you actually need to start with your uh, student checkup excel 1-3 file that's going to work the best for this one so just to let you know so start with that one but go ahead and rename it so what, that's what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to rename my student checkup excel 1-3 to be student excel checkup 3-1 okay so now that we have it saved now what i'm going to do is i'm going to build right down here on the bottom left side of the screen i'm going to build uh, the an average of the totals here so this total row at the bottom i'm going to average that i'm going to find the minimum or the lowest value in that range i'm going to do the maximum uh, for that range and then i'm going to do the mode so the mode actually is just a remind you the mode is the most commonly found number the most commonly found number and we'll uh, look at that as well as we go through it so uh, let's get started on that so to start is I'm going to be down here in a 15 and I'm going to go ahead and type in these uh, the average the minimum the maximum and the mode down through 15 16 17 and 18 so you can see I typed it in there so it went ahead and picked up the formatting from above it okay so now what I'm going to do now that I have these uh, titles here to the left side now I'm going to go ahead and put in the equations the actual functions that will do the average the minimum the maximum and the mode so there's a couple different ways to get the functions into these cells so one way is to go up here to the function insert function option right there right so I can do that I can click on it here and I can type in in my little search for a function I can see the average right down there but if I search for the function it's gonna come up as well and hit enter and all the different types of averages are gonna come up so that's the one I want there so I'm gonna click OK and then I'm going to select it has a little wizard box here and so what I'm gonna select for my selection is going to be B 12 through H 12 then I'm going to go ahead and hit OK or enter and there's my average and so now I'm going to do the minimum same way so my minimum here is actually called min so I'm going to go ahead and hit OK on that and I'm going to select my arrays before there and there's my minimum now I'm going to do maximum this time I'm going to just do max it'll pick up my maximum there OK and I'm going to do my same selection hit enter and then I'm going to do the mode okay grab my selection right so I'm just grabbing that by clicking my left mouse button and then dragging it across then I'm going to hit okay it says NA because we don't have any numbers that repeat so there's not a most common number on that one but we can go ahead and leave it as that and now what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and format these cells I'm going to make them bold and I'm going to change them to 12 font okay so I'm going to do the same thing that I just did so I did the average the minimum max and the mode now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create over here in the E right here I'm going to create um, some percentages based on the days and the total for the percentages of sale percent of sales so I'm going to go ahead and put in my titles here I'm going to start with E 15 so to make this quicker I'm going to go ahead and just move this on down here so it's going to be Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday and then I then that way I can go in here and change the days so Monday is going to become Tuesday so I'm not so what I'm doing here is I'm actually kind of getting ahead of the schedule a little bit just because it's a little quicker so what I what I need to do is I need to go from E15 through G15 here. And then what I want to do is I want to do a uh, center and uh, center across is what I want to do. Merge across. So right there. So I'm going to do merge across. And that keeps my title actually to the left side, right? 
I'm gonna do that for all of these. It's not merge and center, I'm gonna do merge across. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna format the cells the same as this A15 over here, right? So I've got A15 here, right? So A15 right here. So I have that one selected. And so what I'm gonna do is go over here to Format Painter and select that. And then I'm gonna select all these cells that I just created. And uh, once I let up on my left mouse button, then they're all formatted correctly right there. I just realized I, I missed something. So that'll be important. I just cha put the word total sales in there. So that'll be important as we do the calculation, just to understand that. So first I'm gonna uh, put my, right now I'm gonna put my cursor in H15. And what I want to be in H15 is actually this number up here in I12, right? So uh, what I can do, I, I can type the number in, but that doesn't actually help me keep these numbers correct because as these numbers change then this number will change right it's all based on equations so since I'm gonna pull this total sales down here I want it based on all the numbers in the table so I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter so we see the equal sign comes up here and then I'm gonna click on the cell that I want uh, which is I 12 okay so we can see that it kind of lights up right and and has the little moving border there and we see I12 comes down here as well. And so what I wanna do now is just hit enter. And then this cell, H15, will always will have what is in I12, right? So they, those will be equal. And then now what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and continue down, right? So what we wanna do here is we wanna have Monday as the percentage of total sales. So we need to put the equation in here that will give us the percent of sales um, that Monday is out of the total sales. So we're gonna hit our equal sign here again. And Monday is, uh, we're gonna click on that. So B12 is Monday, right? So B12 or Monday sales divided by the total sales will give us the, what the percentage, uh, the Monday's percentage of total sales, right? So we're gonna hit the divide sign there, which is the forward slash. And then we're gonna go up here and click our total sales, which we just copied down, right? So we can see it's like a little red moving border there. And that selection is H15. And we see that H15 showed up here as our numerator uh, or uh, our denominator actually, sorry, in this division, right? So we've got the Monday sales, B12, divided by total sales, which is H15 up here and we can go ahead and hit enter and sure enough there we go there it is but it's not in a good format right so we want it in percent right so we can go up here and hit the percent sign which is 12 percent and we need to make sure if yours doesn't put it in exactly with no decimal points we want to make sure to adjust that using these buttons right here okay but right now we're perfect so that's 12 percent so what we can do is we can go ahead and type the formula in all of these cells. That's something we can do, right? That's actually what the book has us do. I'm gonna go ahead and say that you can type the, equa the equation just like that in all of these cells. Instead of, of course, using B12, you're going to be using D12 for Tuesday, a D12 for Wednesday, right, all the way down, still having H15 as the bottom, right? Um, the denominator. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put all of the equations in here. So this is gonna be equals Tuesday divided by total equals Wednesday divided by total sales. Enter equals Thursday's total divided by the total sales. Enter. There we are. So there are all of them. Now we just need to make sure we get them formatted correctly. So we wanna make sure that this format carries over here right which is the same format above this is this is our percentages so we just want to make them bold basically okay so on here what we want to do now is we want to be able to show our formulas for our entire sheet because we just put some formulas in here we can't see any of the formulas right off unless we double click on a specific cell or field and then we can see the formula in there so we want to just be able to see all of them straight out so what we do is we come to the formulas tab we go to show formulas and we click on that 
and there they all are they're all showing up there's all of our formulas okay and when, then we can go ahead and and also click on that again and it'll, it'll hide them all and so now what we want to do is go ahead and save this and upload it to canvas for grading thank you have a good day